Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly reading for the 16th to the 23rd of September. I am Charlene Lizette. We're going to be diving in and seeing what is going on for you over this very powerful, very potent week because we are welcoming in the Pisces full moon lunar eclipse. Now, if you happen to be watching this before the Tuesday and you can come join me live here on YouTube because I'm going to be talking about it at 1030 AM Eastern Standard Time. If you want to dive deeper and understand more about the astrology and my predictions and what I'm seeing astrologically happen, then you're going to want to join my membership. OK, for now, let's see what's going on for you. Okay, massive changes in your financial situation, in your relationship to money, and the way that you view and talk about money. Interestingly enough, Libra, who rules money, um, balance, harmony, okay, ruled by, uh, by Venus, I should say, which is all about money, luxury, finances, okay, wealth, etc. Um, with the Venus is in Libra right now, and, and you got the Venus amulet as well um, for your reading. So I think this, you know, when I'm looking at this and, I, and I'm zooming out and I'm looking at this from a bird's, eye, or a bird's eye view, what I'm actually seeing is somebody who is changing the internal conversation that they've had with money, the internal conversation that they've had around their relationship to their finances, how they generate wealth, how they attract and call in wealth into your life. If you and I were sitting down together and we were having a little chitty chat, the first thing that I would ask you is if growing up you, um, you know, there was a fear of money. Don't waste food. Um, make sure you're using like all the way to the end of the toothpaste and cutting the toothpaste thing open and like digging into it. Um, make sure that like no scrap is left on the plate. Uh, very much like poverty mindset or um, your parents argued about money or you just you you came from an environment where um, finances and financial situations um, weren't necessarily like the best or growing up it was like you will never make money doing what you love and so you had to dive into a career um, that maybe didn't make you happy uh, but at least generated wealth for you. And the reason why I'm saying all of this stuff, and sorry if you can hear the background noise, um, I live off of Bloor Street here in Toronto. If you're from Toronto, hello, hi. And the Ukraine festival is setting up. It's, listen, I'm all for do whatever festival, but when it impedes like directly into our, my, my life, my quality of life, anyways. So we've got the North Node here showing up with destiny and challenges at the bottom of the deck and i understand that it's not your card your card is something else it's vertex which we'll talk about in a second but i keep if, if i could bring the lens over what is actually right here is this north node eight of wands and so when i'm looking at it it's the wands facing the north node down in the, in the cards and so what i'm seeing here is source turning around and going don't be surprised if you have a spiritual awakening or a spontaneous desire to step into your soul's purpose over the next couple of weeks don't be surprised if this week coming up is the week where you turn around and you're like char i am done i am over it I am so tired of feeling unhappy in my life. I am so tired of feeling stuck. Like I am declaring this is um, my undone moment because I'm ready to attract money into my life. Don't be surprised if those things happen because these are very indicative of the energy surrounding your cards. What I'm seeing here is a complete, complete, massive, massive upheaval, like big change. Okay, really, really big change here. We have Vertex showing up and it says karmic point sinistry, faded connections turning point. Uh, vertex is a moment in time in your astrology where when this transit is activated, it creates a shift in your life. And you being um, ruled by Jupiter, uh, the Pisces full moon, you know, also a rule, a Jupiter ruled, right? And Jupiter currently in Gemini. This could be an ushering in of some sort of like, I almost want to call it like a, like a, a calling, right? Like a passion, like a drive, like fiery Sagittarian energy. And you're also going to want to look at your chart as well. I talk about this more in the membership, but I do want to give this to you as a piece of advice. Okay. If you understand astrology, go look at any mutable placements you have between 20 and 30 degrees. Because the full moon is happening at 25 degrees, uh, mutable placements or the cardinal signs, so Libra, Aries, um, 
um, uh, Taurus, Scorpio, um, in, um, in, um, uh, zero to one degrees. Okay. Um, sorry, that's wrong. Aries, Aries, Libra, not Taurus, Scorpio, um, um, uh, Capricorn cancer. Whoa, oh my God, brain. Sorry, I'm like so distracted by all the noise out there. So with peace, I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. And then the blue flame, spontaneous awakening, activation, integration time. Like I am seeing this happen for you. I think that this is something to lean into. If, if you were my best friend and we were chitty chatting, I'd say, this is your time, baby cakes. God was like, let me open up. Let me split the ocean in half so that you can walk through and reach your destiny. What are you doing? Why are you delaying it? Where is the fear? Are you creating a story in your mind that is not real? It's time now to propel yourself forward. Eight of Swords, the Hanged Man, is an indication to me that you are realizing how you are creating your own suffering. And maybe there's a lot of emotions that come over, over the next week, but it's a realization of shit, I've created my own undoing. I'm stuck, I'm, I'm acting helpless, I'm acting like the victim, and I need to cut this out of my life. You're not alone. And even if you feel like you're alone, you're not alone, right? There's always someone willing to help you. There's, you, you gotta ask, you gotta tune in energetically. You know, I'll never forget when I was on this precipice of being homeless and out of despair, I like started reaching out to people that I hadn't talked to for a while or people that I had just met and saying like, I need help. Like I'm in this situation right now. And let me tell you the type of people that showed up for me. It was crazy. And so don't be afraid to ask for help Sagittarius because where you're going to here with the six of uh, swords and the four of pentacles is a far more grounded, far more rooted, far more mature, far more responsible lifestyle. One where not only are you taking risks in your life here with the fool, not only are you starting that new journey that we've been talking about, not only are you headed in that new direction, but on top of that, you're learning how to manage all of it. You're learning how to balance all of it without being afraid. It's almost like I want to turn around and say you're putting on your big boy or big girl pants. Okay. Now, I am going to dive into your love reading. What I'm going to do for you is at the end of this video, okay, I'm going to pop over right on this side, this money manifesting video that I've put together for free here on YouTube to help you learn how to attract cash flow with ease and manifest money into your life. Okay. That way you can start taking action because the big theme here, especially with the fool is action. If you don't take action, nothing's going to happen. Okay. You got to be willing to take a risk. You got to be willing to make moves. You got to be willing to go forward. You got to be willing to make it happen for yourself. Okay. In your love life, we have the two of swords, the king of swords and death. So really interesting energy here. Death again. If you are in a relationship where you're feeling left out or you feel like you're constantly out of balance financially, like you're, you're the one always giving, 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 giving financially, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, whatever that may be, that relationship's coming to an end. Um, that relationship is wrapping itself up real, real quick here because it is time now for you to, um, live in the energy where people, um, uh, uh, where there's more receptivity, I should say, and where you are attracting people who give to you as much as you give to them. And so this entire energy that I'm seeing here is a massive change around the way that you show up in this world, I like, I wouldn't be surprised if you are struggling financially, you have shitty relationships or you repeat the same patterns, like your, your relationships and your finances mirror each other very much. I'm seeing massive change here. Okay. I think that this video I'm going to pop here and any of the other videos I have on my channel can definitely help you out. This is about you reclaiming your power, baby. This is about you no longer being afraid and you owning who you are. Sagittarius, the teacher, the philosopher, the power, powerhouse. Okay. Like I said, here is the video. You want to follow me on Insta. Want to work with me in any other way. It's all in the description box below. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. We will see you later alligators. Peace out. Bye.